Yelena, should I take out the rest of the jammers? Yes. The more you fuck with them, the faster my download speed will be. Faster download means more TV shows you can stream? No. A faster download means I can better help you with any operations where hacking is needed. Okay. And I can stream more TV shows. I knew it. I'll see what I can do about taking out the rest of the jammers. You have to hear this. According to McKay's files, one of the old refineries has engineers working overtime on something called PG-240X. PG-240 is the poison they spray on tobacco leaves in the west to make Viviro. My guess is that PG-240X is what they dropped on us at the hotel. So we are going to fuck up McKay's operation by destroying that old refinery from the inside. I sent Lucky Mama and a small team to secure the perimeter. They are waiting for you. Once you get inside the place, talk me through what you see. We'll figure out how to get it offline. Muy bien. I'll tell the team you're on your way. Eyes open. How did my team do? Looks like they secured the perimeter. Remember, you need to talk me through what you see in there. If I'm right, that place is important to the poison operation. <laughs> Yelena, I'm seeing a lot of missiles in boxes. Anything else? Yeah, they're all marked as PG-240X. Get down to the basement. The blueprints say there's a ton of electrical work down there. Yelena? What the fuck is that? Yelena! I'm here, Danny. You were right. It looks like this is where Mackay's people are making the chemical weapons. The bombs. Pinga, we have to pop this shit up now. Connect me to any computer you see. I'll overload it. On it, Yelena. Oh, shit! Connected. Give me a minute. I'm scanning for exploits. Pinga, this stuff was patched ages ago. All they had to do was run Windows Update. I thought I needed a zero day. Uh, can I go? No. Danny, you got so dows heading your way. Don't let them fuck with the connection. Stubborn motherfuckers. Hey, backpack. You really want to do the martyr thing just to stop one part of my business? I'll Pinga. rebuild! And by the way, you're causing a huge environmental disaster. I thought you kids loved the environment. You're all gonna die. I mean, why did you volunteer for this? It's got suicide mission written all over it.
you were dead. This shit has been really entertaining to watch. Seriously. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna call up my boy Anton for more soldados because you gorijas are really starting to piss in my lemonade. Trepinga. <laughs> did what you had to. If it ever comes down to sacrificing one versus many... I... If it makes you feel any better, Lara would have done the same thing. You're more alike than you think. Moving the puck on? How about the fact that we just completely destroyed Castillo's ability to make chemical weapons? This is a huge blow to the regime. So they can't make any more of the bombs they dropped on us at the hotel. All that's left is what was made before. Always another target. If you don't mind, I'm gonna just enjoy breathing for a minute. When I was a girl, the air here used to smell like the ocean. But the foreign corporations came, poisoned everything. Back in 67, we kicked them out. For decades, you could breathe the air. Then Espinosa started to sell off our industries. Then Anton took over. He opened the door for that Yankee McKay. His operation produces the poison needed to make Viviro. And the pipeline here is a vital part of that cancer treatment. Lorenzo showed me the photographs you took of their research. Disgusting. So Yelena and I came up with a plan to cripple production of Castillo's wonder drug. Think of that Yankee's main chemical plant like a heart. And all these pipes are like arteries. Cut the arteries and the heart goes into a catastrophic state. So follow the pipes, Danny. Destroy the stations, and you'll create a pressure overload at the plant. That's when Yelena will access their computers, and we'll be able to kill McKay's poison operation for good. This is a big mission, and you're not alone. <gasps> silos from there. Or I could just shoot them. Being a guerrilla is about precision. 
sloppy work leads to too many corpses. Okay, first stop station down. You know, I used to watch El Tigre's back when he was in the field. Well, I'm glad you're watching mine. That's not good. Danny, did El Tigre ever tell you about Lobo? A little. Said he was killed in combat. Why? You remind me of him. Clara's the politician. But you are a true guerrilla. Like Lobo, the lone wolf. I don't like worrying about others. It slows me down. But when the lone wolf makes the big kill, he doesn't like to share the spoils. Be careful, Danny. Why are you telling me this? Hello? Hello? Oh, Binga. Better watch my step. I should have been a surgeon. I wouldn't go that far. Danny, I want to apologize for how I treated you when we first met. I was wrong about you. No need to apologize. I've just seen enough blood to last three lifetimes. And enough guerrillas who enjoyed spilling it. When you showed up, you had trouble written all over you. But El Tigre... He always knew a true guerrilla at first glance. He told me if anyone could save Yara, it was you. Just thought you should know. Libertad could use you, Lucky. Clara could learn a lot from you. 
libertad, la moral. Just a club, Danny. I fight for Yara. No one else. What was that? What was that? Copy. Danny, I never told anyone this. ¿Qué? El tigre killed Lobo. De pinga. Back in 67, they led the final attack together. But Lobo wanted Yara all for himself. Once they took Esperanza, his plan was to take down Santos. Lobo would have undone everything we fought for. Instead of peace, he would have started a civil war. Lobo was a traitor, Danny. He left El Tigre no choice. A secret no Yaran can ever know. Why are you telling me this? Because you remind me of Lobo. You might be a hero now. You might think you would never betray Yara. But once you're on the throne, it will change you. I have no desire to rule Yara Lucky. Just know that if I must, I won't hesitate to pull that trigger. Just like El Tigre. He was the real legend of 67. And he never forgave himself for it. I've accessed their system, and thanks to you overloading the base and pressure at the plant, I can now do this. Do what, Yelena? Holy shit! Loki, did you hear that? All of Yara heard that. Time for phase two. Get to the plant. Just follow the smoke. Loki, I'm at the plant. <laughs> Everyone's shitting themselves. Thanks to you. Engineers are trying to repair the chemical basins. Find the control room, Danny. Yelena's waiting to be patched into the computers. Once we have access... Heart attack. Got it. Don't like the look of this place. Get the pressure on your 
Yelena, it's Danny. I've plugged you in. Time to do your thing. Muy bien. Let's melt this fucker. Be on alert! Reports of sabotage are coming in! Yelena, any chance you can hurry things up? Hacking's an art, Danny. Don't rush me. switch. Flip the switches and... And kaboom. Yeah, but there's going to be some time between flipping and kabooming. So make sure no one gets their hands on those switches. Warning. Critical pressure levels detected. Years. This is Senior McKay. Who's the fucking manager here? Call me pronto. I need to know what the hell's going on.
almost done. You destroyed that massive pipeline, but something called the Toxiflow Reactant Ultrafiltration Downstream Osometer is at the head of it. The Toxi... ¿Qué, qué pinga es eso? It's in the warehouse. I unlocked it for Loki. She should be there already. Get it there now. You could make it to the party. Now let's finish this. With pleasure. the only place on this island where they produce the poison they spray on the tobacco fields in the west. After they use up the poison... No more wonder drug. Mierda. Dani, you're not going to believe it, but before we hit McKay at the port, I got a special request from Clara, and she's got a point. You didn't see that coming. We have an opportunity to do something bigger. If we destroy Castillo's oil reserves in El Este right now, it will choke his army of fuel across the island. I like the sound of that. Go hit the big red tanks all over La Jolla. Our guerrillas will help you. I sent them pics of what to target. Gracias, comadre. Danny, people are shooting up the big fuel tanks near you. I copy. What if I told you this island could be better? Are you reading one of Castillo's speeches? No, I'm serious. My great grandparents had a brutal life. They left one country to go to another and made something of themselves. They passed that wealth on to the next generation. 
generation. My parents, they built on it, they gave it to me. So you want me to move? <sighs> well, that would solve my immediate problems, but no, no. You can stay in Yara, but Castillo wants a change here. He does, I talk to him every day. He wants it as fast as you do. Sometimes it is better to swim with the current than to go against it. So I should just accept the arrests? The outcast system? The executions? Every modern country in the history of the world has dark days. Only difference now is that everybody can film it and stream it and try to get the world pissed off about it. Even in my country, Canada. Go look up what they did to the indigenous folks and the fracking Jesus Murphy. But hey, nobody is perfect. Talk all you want. You are nothing but a fucking invader. Ah, keep trying to be a badass. See where that gets you a couple generations from now. Think about what I said. I got you! Make that Yankee pay for what he did to us. And end Castillo's rule over El Este. Gani, <laughs> forget about the rest of the oil tanks and get to the port. Ya voy.
McKay, you at the port? As a matter of fact, I am. Sitting in my little fortified panic room. It's Russian-made and impossible to open. And I'll just wait for Castile's reinforcements. Great. I'll swing by and say hello. Look, backpack! If it's just you coming to see me, let's talk the situation over. I'll be unarmed. I won't. Shit. That hijo de puta's mine. Elena, McKay wasn't there. The office was a fucking trap. Cuño, that intel came from a fucking traitor. If I know anything about foreign invaders, they have one idea in their head to use their losing. It has to be on one of those ships. You called it lucky. Elena, on that ship, he's a dead man. He wasn't. McKay's on the one farther out. You sure this time? This intel comes from one of Gilberto's you people. Boy, She's on that ship that and has a visual on him. On my way. Gilberto will get on the line. Millions are fucking amazing. I know, but don't tell them that, or else I may have to pay them more. Ha! <laughs> I'll keep an eye out and shoot my way in. Look, honey. I made it! When you find Mickey, make him suffer! Why are you soldiers even fighting anymore? Get the fuck out of here. The morale, libertad, whatever, the fucking gorillas, they've clearly won. There's too many of them! There's some chemical weapons here. I think the other ship had more. And McKay? Don't see him. We'll look up top. Yeah. 
any of them on this boat! Atendio! Sacabo! Cruz! Ayúdame! And orders are to protect Senor McKay! But it's over. Time's up. Come in second place in the Civil War is not that bad. I mean, seriously, it's been a good run, boys. Now, if you don't mind, Backpack and I have some business to talk over. One, backpack's here. Danny, the situation has changed. Don't want to hear it right now, Juan. See, si, see, si, he's a skin tag on a weasel's asshole. Well. But we just made a deal. McKay is offering us a fuck ton of cash if we let him go. We're talking real dinero, Danny. No way Clara's good with this. I'll deal with Clara. You and I both know the real war starts the first minute Castillo dies. And you can't win that fight without cash. Trust me. We've been doing pretty good with bullets. Leave him alone and head back to the port. I'm on my way there now. It's time to celebrate. We won! <laughs> go on, backpack. Go, go. Join the fiesta back on the mainland. I'm sure they're going to have a piñata. El este para siempre, Danny. Y Elena. You want me to believe McKay just floated away? Libertad deserves you. Let's hear it for Danny. You should say something. I've given enough speeches. Then I think it's only appropriate You've that I say You've had your time, so. Lorenzo. Hmm? Lucky. <laughs> Today, for the first time in my life, I actually feel lucky. When I look into the eyes of your generation, I see the same fire, the same passion, the same hope I used to see in mine. Together, we have the chance to create something new. It's your turn. Let's make this Yara's last war. La Moral, Legends of 67. Bienvenidos al este, Clara. Welcome to Libertad. Gracias, but no. La moral's good on its own. Is that right? We'll help you kill Castillo, but we'll also keep an eye on Libertad. You want me to trust this wrinkled up abuelo to fix Ariara? No. We fight. We don't follow. I like this one. That's two of us. Sion Esperanza. <laughs> <laughs> Vale. I know there are many who speak of the old revolution of 67 like a dream that these murderers were heroes? They will destroy your future, just as they did my father's. When I look into your eyes, I see lions. Libertad, la moral, murderers of 67, these are lies, the truth, they are all known by the same name, Terrorista. I have a vision to rebuild paradise. But these terroristas have made sure the cost of paradise will be blood. 
Let this be Yara's last revolution. Let us claim victory to the lions! Gonyo, wish you two were here. Where's this party at? Batter off. Danny, head for Valle de Oro to help Massimas Matanzas. Now that McKay is out of the picture, we have Anton where we want him. You sound confident. We have to be. We have to beat Castillo. The prize for second place is a bullet. We're going to win. Viva Libertad, Clara. Viva Libertad, Danny. Clara, I'm on my way to Valle de Oro. Good. I hope you find Maximus Matanzas. How do you know them, anyway? Talia and I led the first protests against Castillo, while Paolo mobilized the dissidents. We lost contact after the Esperanza riots. I saw those riots. A lot of people got hurt. <coughs> this is the fort. Looks like no one's been here for a hundred years. Hey! Uh, Maximus Matanzas? Talia? This fort, maybe they left a note. They wanted others to follow. Clara, Maximas Matanzas was definitely at the fort. There's signs of a gunfight and shit thrown everywhere. That sounds like them. Can you pick up their trail? See, si. they won't be hard to track. That's what I'm worried about. Rapido, Danny. They try I know that song. Cojone, I'm not the first to find them. Okay, careful, Danny. Careful, princess. Inga, hope I'm not too late. Clara, I think I found Maximas Matanza's hiding spot. But Castillo's soldiers got here first. Looks like they're having some fun before they call for backup. You know what to do, Danny. Whatever it takes. Don't get out! That's the last of them. Talia, 
Moof. What the fuck? Hey, uh, you think I could keep this? No, yes. Hey, man, you just saved Maximus Matanzas, the most blessed motherfucking group in Yara. Well, I would have done it myself personally, but, you know, I couldn't stop crying. Get out of my way. I'm Bicho, man. I'm from Mexico. Get me the fuck out of here. I know you can hear me. If I let you out, you're gonna behave? Mi amor. F fuck, Italia. Oh, I thought you wanted to hide like a pussy-ass bitch. You want to die before we get to America? Oh, big man, Paolo. So a real man takes care of his chica by hiding her in a stank-ass swamp. Fucking puta. <gasps> Coño. Oh, oh, that's just foreplay. Okay, okay. You guys ever heard of Libertad? Clara Garcia sent me... Shh. We were Libertad before Libertad. Who do you think dragged Clara to her first protest when she wanted to live in a fucking library? I don't care. Clara knows her boring ass speeches won't convince Yarns to join Libertad. She needs her voice. Don't worry, Talia's full of shit and so are you. Welcome to Camp Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> They're animals. Everybody! Soldados are gone! Come on out! Clara. You're still full of shit. A lot more people here than I thought. Are the musicians too? Talia collects dreamers dumb enough to pick fights with Anton's Ministry of Culture. I just make sure they aim the barrel away from the face. Thought I was the only dropout. Opa was a drill instructor. Family's fifth gen army until me. What happened? Expelled. When Papa found out I turned from his favorite daughter into a freak. His words. Shit. Just trans in the military, compai. I was lucky. Talia caught me trying to steal her gear, but instead of turning me in, she gave me a deck. Libertad can help all of you here. Libertad? When Castillo won, we left riots with Clara. And what did he get us? Clara runs off to play guerrilla, Talia gets thrown into Maria Marquesa's bullshit academy, and I have to take a big fucking debt to get her out. From who? Bembe, black market smuggler. Once he's paid off, Talia and I are off this fucking rock. Let me take some debt, Paolo. I don't do handouts. Okay. Why'd you leave the military? Punch my drill instructor in the throat. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> Segunda. Bembe deals in the church. Clara, good news, Maximas Matanzas is safe and they've actually got a decent camp here. Bad news, they don't give a shit about Libertad. Give it time, Danny. They've been through a lot. We can't beat Castillo without Talia's voice and Paolo's discipline. You just need to help them find it. Okay, Clara. I'm gonna trust you know what the hell you're getting me into. So now you want to talk to me? No, I want to see you. Meet me at the Zuba La Batidora, the ride that whips you around. Look, if this is some kind of fucked up date... Just get that ass over here, and don't tell Paolo. You drag me back to that fucking swamp. Bembe's in the church. 
Wonder if he's asking for forgiveness. Clara, I need to help Paolo pay off a debt to some black market smuggler named Bembe. Do whatever it takes, Danny. If Paolo was able to build that camp on the run, imagine what he could do for Libertad when he decides to fight. Understood, Clara. You Bembe? I know a silly when I see one. What's wrong with all our asshole? Try to fuck me, Danny Rojas. I sell your organs to the Yankees. And I know if I shoot you, Paolo's death disappears. No. You have rules. You might kill, but you're no killer. Mierda, you got me. So what does that make you? I kill guerrillas. I also kill soldiers. It's just business. Easy to pretend you're not picking sides. My father was a guerrilla in 67. After the revolution, he put on a crisp military uniform. Thirty years later, to his surprise, a fresh new revolution with fresh new guerrillas. They thank him with a bullet to the skull. Buried in the same crisp uniform. Are you ready for your uniform, Rojas? It goes both ways. How's that? You were just dressed like a priest. <laughs> I like you, Danny Rojas. We can do business. Fucking Bambe. Okay, Rojas. I need you to pick up my key from my business partners. Where are they? At the hotel. My associates are named Dimitri and Vasily. They're Russian and they're twins. I'll make it easy and send a picture. You're too kind. They say kindness is the lowest form of manipulation. This is a simple job, Rojas. Get me my key and Paolo will thank you. I don't want Paolo's thanks. I want Paolo's debt cleared. We all do, Rojas. Me most of all. Right. I'll get you this key. But then you and Paolo are square. Understand? Love you, Ross. Bye bye. Eyes up, Danny. I thought you should know that there might be some soldiers at the hotel. Might be? Hey, I'm just trying to help you. You don't help people, Bembe. You use them. I'll take that as a thank you. Ha <laughs> 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 
Bembe, you fucking hijo de puta. So you got my key. See, I found it on your dead Russian friend. Now, oh, Rojas. The key opens a safe at Via Hudia Hotel. I need a black book inside. What's in that book? For you? Paulo's freedom. Looks like the hotel, and what a surprise, the army is here. Bembe, I'm at the hotel, and so is the army, but I think you already knew that. It's the delicious little surprises that make life worth living. Save me your bullshit. Let me guess, you want me to take them out. <laughs> you see? This is why I like you, Rojas. Don't kill the soldiers for me. Do it for Paolo. Got eyes on an engineer. Letting those animals out could be fun.
better be careful. Bembe, it's done. I got your book. Muy bien, Rojas. I can see why Clara has so much faith in you. You are such a good little gopher. Is that what you think I am? Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything to you. Tell me where to meet you. I'm across the north bridge of the hotel. All of this for a book. <clears throat> Get down, Rojas. Thank you for securing my new port. Thought you wanted the book from the safe. Can the man have both? Of course, Via Hudia Hotel is the real prize jewel. It's the best smuggling port on the south coast. You just needed someone to clear out the competition. The Russians make good money from this place. And with this book of corrupt officials in their pay, that money will now flow to me. We are done here. But you and I still have business to do, Rojas. You've paid off some of Paolo's debt, but not all. Don't worry, I have more work for you. I got some customers who are dying to get out of paradise. You're going to help them do that. I've left you a truck. Use it to drive my customers to the docks, where our ship will be waiting. The docks are guarded. So you're going to work a little harder to get past them without a fight. That's where Rafael Merrero comes in. He's a forger and a very important client of mine. His papers will get you through. Do this for me. And Paolo's debt is wiped clean. Every... When the boat leaves, the boat leaves. Careful now. Huh. Huh. 